I'm next heading to the thriving northern city of Cairns. Cairns really does tourism well, probably better than any other location in Australia. With the Great Barrier Reef at its doorstep, a lot of travellers use Cairns as a base from which to dive. Given the importance of the dive industry up here, I decided to interview Peter Stokes, General Manager of Cairns Dive Centre. Peter has seen Cairns grow from a small tropical backwater to a world-class tourist destination. Cairns is the most far northern port that you can access the reef to the pristine reef. So when you do get out there, you're going to get that clear water, you're going to get that good visibility that each diver is after, but you're also getting the safety aspects of the reef. If you go down further on the coast, again, the good reef is out further, but then you're bringing in currents, wind, uh, choppiness, you know, the comfort of getting out there and back to a customer not getting seasick, this, that and everything else that goes with it. So it just makes Cairns basically an easy, accessible, very good dive site. When people dive in cans, I believe they're going to, or even snorkel, I believe they're going to see a diversity of soft and hard corals unique to the Great Barrier Reef. You're going to see thousands of different varieties of fish in their abundance, not in one or two, but schools and schools of them. It's like swimming in a fish tank. It's just put your hand out and touch them. There's thousands of them. On the safety aspect of diving, not just in Australia, but the Great Barrier Reef, I believe, and I firmly believe, it's the safest area in the world to learn how to dive, or even just come and visit the reef. If you're going to learn how to dive on your first course, you need a dive medical. If you're just going to come and visit the reef, the, the, the amount of people that are in place through the government laws and such, and uh, the watchers and the dive masters, instructors, just there to make sure that you have a good time and go home safely. It's a very stringent place to dive, uh, and to snorkel, I mean, that's the whole idea of it. There's a lot of people here and we want to send you all home from a happy holiday. As with nearly every other traveller, I took a dive trip myself. I was lucky to go out on the day of the annual Fitzroy Island Backpacker Party. All the dive operators joined together for a huge hoedown. After dark, I went along to the wool shed, which is pumping most nights of the week. I was there on a Monday night when they host the Miss Backpacker competition. Basically, girls from the crowd get up on tables and perform for prizes. You'll have to go for yourself to see what happens, but let's just say the male members of the audience very much enjoyed the show. After all the late nights, I decided to take a relaxing trip into the hinterland and visit the rainforest village of Karanda. I rode the scenic railway to get there. In Karanda, there are plenty of market stalls to check out, where you can pick up some rather unique gifts for the folks back home. The Butterfly Sanctuary and Bird World are also well worth a visit. On the trip back to Cairns, I took the Sky Rail, which gives you a bird's eye view of the canopy of the Barren Gorge National Park. <laughs> 